How's it going guys? This is Vault Lethals, aka Vault's newest commentator, and today I'm here to bring to you some of Vault Punch's gameplay. It's a Black Ops 2 Type 25 Triple Nuclear on the map, hijacked. And make sure before I get into this commentary topic, you open the description, click on Vault Punch's channel, then go click subscribe, and then do the same to mine because if I heard you guys at Vault are absolute beasts, and I heard you're better than KSI's beasts because you guys are some of the best subscribers on YouTube. And this is just a rumor, so I really want to see the power of Vault firsthand. And I'm not even trying to bore you up here, but let's get straight into my commentary top. My first day in college. And now, English college isn't like American college. We're doing the same type of stuff, but English college is kind of like American high school, even though we're pretty much doing the same type of stuff. In England, you only move away when you go to university. So the first thing I make a mistake with, and this was before college even started, so it's kind of not my first day, but oh well. There's three colleges in my area. College A, College B, College C. Alright, so I'd say to all my friends, go to College A, get some of them to go to College B. So wherever I do, went, wherever I went, I had friends, okay? And that's the awkward moment when I didn't get into it. Never in my life did I think this would happen, but I didn't get to cut into College A or College B, and I ended up in College C, where there was no one I knew there. But anyway, I got on with it and still turned up on the first day. I know a lot of people who ended up in my position didn't turn up on the first day, so I, so I think I was kind of good there. But, that's, but then I learned why this didn't happen. Because the first thing I did is I tripped over. And I mean, I didn't even trip over a curb. I didn't trip over a door. I tripped over by kicking the ground. Who does that? And I tripped over. I rolled on my back. And everyone saw it. And people started clapping. And it wasn't even like a, hey. It was more of a. And, and I got up. I shrugged it off. And anyway, I walked away. Kind of laughed about it myself. You know, laughed to myself. Because I had no friends. Because I was doing this as a big Billy no mates. And then that's when I tried to live the YOLO swag lifestyle and pull it back. And this worked for about 30 seconds. I'm not sure who I stole it from. So whoever it was, give credit down below to yourself. And what happened was that I went in college. They said, introduce yourself. So I said, my name's Kane. I like gaming. I like going out with my friends. And I like one wa long walks on the beach. And people thought this was fun at for about 30 seconds. And I think after that, straight away, everyone thought I was a dick again. Because of everyone was just kind of... Well, there was, a, there was little groups that came from high school together, all sat together. But there was pretty much everyone just got to their own business. And I still hadn't achieved my goal of being successful after this. And this is just minor stuff. Because of then it was dinner time. And at dinner time, I get a two-hour break. Because that's just the way my timetable works. So I'm walking to Callum's College. Because I'm about to try some break and enter and stuff. Because I don't want to be in my college anymore. I want to go and see all my friends from high school so i'm on my way to college and i see a shop and it's a drink shop and i thought you know what i need a drink so I go in buy a drink and when i come out you will never guess what happened so lethals comes out of the shop and he is greeted by a five foot nothing little tiny chav wearing a tracksuit where his elbows have sagged to his head and his knees have sagged to his ankles because he had been living in that tracksuit for the last 10 years and they had never seen a wash like him and he and he opens his arms and he says who is you who is you to me? So I'm like, move or you're going to find out who I am. Because he's getting in my way. So I'm getting frustrated like anyone would. And then his two big mates who are a tiny bit bigger than me come along and be like, Yeah, but he's asking who you are talking dead fast like that. That's intimidating, obviously. Because you can spit the alphabet in 30 seconds, bruv. And then, so I push through them. And like, oh, whatever. And they're like, why not, why not? Walking as I walk down the road. So I'm off from this. And they're probably going to come back moaning the next time I come in the shop. But whatever. Who cares? So I make my way all the way down to Blake and Callum's college, or Fatal's. And I go in the college, like, try and work way around, break, up, break, Blake has to go. So I'm still trying to work my way around the outside of the college, dodging security, and then a security guard sees me, and I'm like, uh-oh, because you can, you can actually be prosecuted for going, like, on the college grounds without permission. So I had to run off, get all the way back to my college, and get in class like nothing had happened. But then, on my way home, the greatest thing ever that could ever happen to a moped driver happen. I get the nod, not once, not twice, but three times. And the first time I was driving out the college ground like a BA on my moped because no one else has one but me uh, and maybe a few other guys. But I'm taking my car lessons soon so I can YOLO swag lifestyle that soon. And I will promise I will never say that again. And I'm coming out of college anyway, hollering at all the girls. No, I didn't really do this. But then... I see a group of moped drivers and they give me the nod and I have never had the nod before and it's the kind of thing that bikers do to each other because they're kind of a minority to the road and moped drivers don't normally do it to each other because normally it's a chav on the other moped but anyway I have a weird obsession with chavs today 
But then they nodded at me, so I nodded back, and this now gives me the power to be able to give other people the nod. And I think it was the instructor, so he was probably a super bike driver. And then a chopper comes past me within the space of 10 minutes and gives me the nod. And then a super bike driver comes, like, kind of a big bike behind, at the side of me, and he gives me the nod. So I'm like, yo, I can give out the nod. I give the nod to someone I got rejected. And you've got to remember, my nod is huge because I'm not used to giving the little subtle nod because it's my first time ever getting the nod. And anyway, this big super bike driver kind of talk to me but the, the big super bike drivers do respect the moped drivers to an extent i mean they are looking out for us because if this guy kind of tries to fly out and like knock me off my bike like trying to kill the new vault the newest vault commentator and this super bike driver slows down in front of him so he can't do anything and i get behind him and he pretty much allows me to be escorted out of that situation and then i nearly pull out on someone else but the super, bike, the super bike driver yet again goes to the save and he stops and I see his lights in the distance so I kind of do a sideways emergency break. But apart from that, that's really it. That was pretty much the most exciting thing I had to tell you guys. And I will bring better story next time so make sure to check out Vault Punch and me. This has been Lethals and I'm out. Peace! Alright, so can we sell 150 like target for this video? And what would you guys do if two and a half men kicked off with you? By that I mean the chaps. Get this sound. Ow.